Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the greatest cooking show to ever hit YouTube, The Cooking Show with No Name. I'm your host, Derek, and to today's episode, we're going to make some toast. So, the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to grab some bread. So let me just come in here and find some other stuff here. Uh, let's see, Doritos. I'm going to eat those. Planters. Those are Pringles. Oh, I'll grab here. Oh, yes, bread. <laughs> Found it. And you're going to want to grab a paper plate just so you know, crumbs get everywhere. All right, let's just close these. All right, now, going to put the plate down. Put bread, and I hate these things. I don't know why it takes so long. Okay. All right. You can grab two pieces of toast. We're going to make two pieces of toast here. Just put them down on the thing. Plate. All right, now we're just going to put them in right real quick. Okay. All right, now. You're going to want to set the level level of the toaster uh, all the way up, just to make sure that it's nice and crispy. So it's already set here, so I'm just going to push it down, push it, push it. That's all that happens. Okay, hold on. Now. Uh, I'm going to put the bread back because we don't need it anymore. And uh, when you're making toast, you could uh, put some butter on it. I'm not just because, you know, uh, I like to eat my toast plain. Uh, so we're just going to wait a couple uh, minutes. should take the two to three minutes for a toast to fully be made here. And I'm just going to put this back. Alright. Now, while we wait for the toast to be done, uh, how about some, uh, our favorite segment? How about that, huh? It's called, uh, Science with Derek. <laughs> so, uh, I'll be right here while you go check that out. Hello, and welcome to Science with Derek. <laughs> this segment, we're talking about the toaster. The heart of the toaster is one or more loops of nichrome wire. This nickel and chromium alloy is an unusual combination of properties. It is resistant to oxidation, has a high electrical resistance, and has a very high melting point. First patented in 1906, nichrome doesn't tarnish or rust, doesn't like to let electricity through, and will stay solid until it is very, very hot, 1,400 Celsius to be exact. <laughs> this combination means that when you run the right amount of electricity through it, the wire gets hot and won't rust, break, or get tarnished easily. This material is used for most electrical heating systems. For a toaster, you wrap this wire around a heat-resistant material like Minka. And you have to have the heating material. Use this radiation, alright? That's the end of the show. Thank you. It's sponsored by InstaWhite. Wow. Give me an A.